If you are 10 feet away from three pounds of C4 exploding, you're dead. If you're 20 feet away, you're gonna be pretty messed up. Now that we've established those distances, we're gonna see if hiding behind an object can protect you from the blast wave. And the first object might not be your first choice of shelter, assuming you had a choice. That's because it's a plain wooden table. I don't know, I don't think I'd want to be 10 feet away from three pounds of C4 behind just a table. Oh, come on, that's three quarter inch pine. Yeah, it does seem kind of flimsy, huh? We'll find out how flimsy in just a few minutes. Grant plants the burst disc behind the pine as Carrie and Tori deliver a twin for the 20 foot test. All right, let's point it towards the blast. This is the injury zone. All right, get in there. Given the likelihood of shrapnel, foam figures are added to catch any potentially fatal shards. <laughs> but the way Grant sees it, that's not the main threat. So when we're looking at what is bomb-proof, what we're actually looking at is a branch of physics called fluid dynamics, because we're looking at the movement of air, and air is technically a fluid. Now, when you set off a high explosive, such as C4, what it does is create a high-velocity, high-pressure wave of air. And that high pressure is potentially what is deadly to you. With one table just 10 feet from ground zero and the other a scant 20. 13 PSI for the injury zone. It's a test that seems certain to end in splinters. Unprotected, we know that a blast of C4 would ruin your health. Now, to see if a simple pine table can save you. OK, this is what is bomb-proof wooden table. All right, charging in three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Oh well, that was definitely God. the death zone. Now, one table is down, but the other table is still standing. Let's That's go look at the damage! No prize for guessing which table is gone and which one looks kind of intact. But the rubble inside the death zone has a surprise in store. There's no table left. The table is completely oh destroyed. My God. No way! <laughs> the burst discs are intact. What the heck? How is that possible? The table must have deflected the pressure wave. That's exactly what it did, even if Tori finds the data hard to swallow. Well, there is no way you would have come away from this uninjured. No, but by our criteria, you would not have instantly died. Grant makes a good point. Incredibly, a simple wooden table made an otherwise fatal explosion survivable. Now, to check out the injury disc at the 20-foot mark. OK, well, the table's still standing. Let's see. Sort of. Uh, oh. It's not burst. It's definitely crinkled. You may have got away without any injury on this one. OK, these results are so interesting. Let's go check out the high speed. I'm dying to see what it looks like. Me too. And it looks like that massive shockwave was at least interrupted by the table that Tori quite recently called flimsy. Whoa! Wow. Look, Look at the wave. Yeah. The distant burst, but that table is in shreds. Both tables absorb the brunt of the blast. In the 10-foot death zone, extreme shrapnel from the shattered wood might have been fatal, but the shockwave wouldn't. And at 20 feet, you will remain snug and safe. 